Good morning. What's the time? Five to ten. Happy Monday. Come on in. Come on in. Shut the door. There's a draft. It's got really cold down here in the south of England. What about where you are? Got really, really cold snap. Mmm. Yeah, chilly. A little bit chilly. Come on in. Good to have your company. Stuart's in the building with you if you've got any questions. So uh, I'm looking forward to today. I, actually, I'm looking forward to this week. I've been practicing. I, I didn't have a lot of time at the weekend because of the big sale. And uh, when I saw mum and dad yesterday. Um, so, uh, but I got up early this morning. So at least I know what we're doing today. And if you don't mind, we're going to crack on. I, I, I want to continue with what we were doing on Friday because it was so nice. And I thought, well, I haven't really finished it. So I'd really like to today go back to Friday and finish that, that, that beautiful laurel wreath off. And then I've worked ahead a little bit for the watercolour one. Mm -mm. Good morning, Sheila from rainy Peterborough. Is it raining in Peterborough? No, it's not raining here yet. Come on in. It's great to have your company. Blimey, the sale's gone berserk. <laughs> oh, you do a lot of bargain. <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's very appreciated. But very, very grateful little company. Very little, very little, not so little, very grateful. Come on in. And uh, you rock. Yeah. I thought it was going to be quieter because we had the Pergamano sale a few weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know. It's a blind bit of difference. All you lovely folks who invested a fortune in the Pergamano show. I've had a complete memory wipe and you've come back again. <laughs> I get it though. I get it. I guess for me, the same thing is with the pottery. I'm forever spending money on pottery. All the gear, you know, we always say all the gear and no idea. I've got a, I got a shed for, downstairs down here underneath myself. Um, there's a, an amazing pottery studio emerging. <laughs> <laughs> with all the glazes and the under glazes and the slips and now these lovely pens have turned up and I haven't got a clue but I'm going to learn and I bet that's how you think as well isn't it you know yeah no I get it I totally get it come on in it's fine and I appreciate it more than you can imagine the sales over at midnight tonight so if you want to go back and have another little nibble <laughs> it's all still there because it's not a clearance sale that's the thing we make to order if we run out we just keep making I guess that's one of the big advantages of being a manufacturer yeah and um and also we tempted you didn't we you called me a temptress somebody <laughs> if you look peace can't get enough of it at the moment um yeah if you if you place an order today for 20 pounds or more you get a nice free stencil so, so that was nice I did a nice piece of artwork in yesterday's blog if you fancy having a look um, it's a good one you know it's a good one I designed it myself and this is a gift from me to you if you go back and have another little nibble in the sale and yes I guess that makes me a temptress <laughs> come on in Good morning, Sonia. Good lift. Lovely to have your company. I see all the names rolling past. Uh, forgive me if I don't if I don't say hello. We'd be here for an hour. Hello, 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 hello. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> How are you? Was your weekend all right? What did I do? Do you know? What did I do on Saturday? Yesterday I was with my parents. Oh, Saturday worked. Of course we did. Packing, 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 picking, picking, picking. <laughs> I was on um, I was on stamp board packs. That's my job. Five, 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 five. I've got five in my head. Five of that shape, five of the different sizes, five of that shape, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, and buff paper. So I knew it was all you going in because all this went flying out the door. <laughs> <laughs> which is what we're going to use today <laughs> it's nice it's nice when it works you know nice when it works good morning Ken it's chilly outside it sure is but it's warm in the shack shack 
Welcome to the Shack Shack, safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft, which is the safest thing that we can do right now, given the circumstances out there. You not agree? Hey, yeah, I think so. And so today, without further ado, I think the sound is good. Let me just check. Is anybody there? Sound is good. Yes, the sound is good. So, um, so I thought before, before we do anything, let's just have a little recap of how we got to where we are and then we'll crack on. So the first thing was we used some buff paper. Remember though, I said, you don't need the buff paper. The only thing is that the buff paper makes the, um, ah, oh, it's just so cool with the white on it. Do you remember when we did the, do you remember when we did the little villages and the, oh, this stuff, I've got it all here, but I haven't had time to clear it up. Do you remember? Oh, ha, 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 this one. Look, as if by magic. That's not, the, that's not my best one, but it will do. It gives you an idea of what we did. And in fact, right, we're well, looking ahead because I have to get on, on this wagon. Um, next Sunday, let me think. Next Sunday, two to four, Hochanda stamps and groovy. I'm sure they're in groovy as well. I bet they are. And if they aren't, they will be. <laughs> yeah. So we've made these and this, this one. Remember this one? We've made that into um, a stamp, a stamp set. Yes, we have. I know. She's a temptress, all right. But we loved doing that. So that's what's, in fact, the whole Sunday is much, very much a Shack Shack celebration because at two to four, we're doing that one. And then we've worked really hard. Lucy's done a fantastic job on the, um, on the six o'clock ODS. Do you remember when we go down to the woods today? Do you remember the toadstools and all that beauty? That's the ODS in the evening. So yeah, so I've got my work cut out for me this week. And stretch, it's all good. So it'll be a real Shack Shack celebration on Hochanda. They're a great TV company. Yeah, so that's what we're doing next Sunday. But today we're doing this one. Right, Christmas wreaths. So what we did, right, quick recap, and then we're going to crack on because I, I really want to get to the watercolour one. So we used that, didn't we? Do you remember when we used that in the... Um, e what did we do that with? With the baubles, right? And so then what we did was we did the twiggy, we did twigs. Let me show you the real dark one so you can see it. So we picked a line and then we flicked, didn't we? We picked a line and then we flicked away to make the branches. So we made a twiggy, we made a twiggy wreath. And off the back of that twiggy wreath, we've made loads of wreaths. Let me take that away and let me take, you can see better if on a white, right, look. So that's my basic twiggy wreath that I've used and I've transferred it to buff and I transferred it to watercolour paper. Look, I've been looking, I've been designing, um, I think that's lovely. I like that. I did that just earlier, but I thought that would sit really nice. Maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe I have to make it 10% smaller or so, 15% smaller. That's easy. I'll just do it again, but make it tinier. Let's go a bit tighter. But I thought that would, that kind of writing would look really nice in here sort of touching anyway so we did that then we did um we did this one which is key for what we're going to do on wednesday we did oh yeah we did this big fat do you remember this one i traced this out because i really liked it we did that on watercolor paper which is where we're going on oh, oh look. watercolor paper do you remember look <gasps> sunday oh yeah Right, hang on. Where did I go to with the watercolour? So we started doing that. I haven't finished that one, but I did do that one, ready to go. I know. And then I made, I took a tighter one, this one, and I put that on there as well. So that's all going to be Wednesday. That's Wednesday's job. But I, I'll show you a little bit more of that later. Don't want to lose these though, you see, because I think once you've got these templates, let's call them that, then you can just flip and go again and flip and go again. So these are these are great for transferring onto watercolour paper or 
buff. And that's where we are today, that one there. So I've got a bit of scrap just to check my colours and do my bits. I need my right glasses. I need a sip of tea. I need some company. Today I need some company. Do you need some company today? What a game this is, isn't it? Hey. Mm, 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 mm. You gotta keep smiling. Keep smiling. Come on. I know. Not much fun here either. But it could be a whole hell of a lot worse. Just keep that thought. It could be a whole hell of a lot for, for worse. If all we're worried about is when the clarity orders are coming and how white we can make our leaves on the buff paper, that tells me that we're doing okay, that we're safe, we're happy, and we're create. Well, we're safe and we're creative, and then the happiness, we make up our minds about that one. I choose to be happy, okay? I could really be miserable today, but I'm not gonna be, because it serves absolutely no purpose. No purpose, all right? And therefore, we smile, and we accept the situation as it is today, and we get on with this blimmin' wreath, okay? <laughs> Come on! Right, so what we need, look, don't say I'm not organized. We need a, uh, uh, just to recap, I left a couple open just in case somebody was late to the party. Right, I don't want to lose those. Got them. God, I need a little bit of black scrap. Be careful now you say that, Barbara. Right, a little bit of black scrap just to check my Posca pens. Yeah, you see, you could go and I think these are even, you just go, today's the day to go and have a little nibble in the sale and pick up those little bits and pieces that you've been holding off. Now's the time to get them. Right, and that's all I'm going to say about the sale. That's all I'm going to say about the sale. Midnight tonight. <laughs> right, so first of all, pens. Pens to the ready, right? This is going to be beautiful when it's done. And the thing is, we're going to do two different finishes this week. One on buff with the white, and I've been working out the process because it's like a step by step. If you get the pro if you get the step the steps wrong in the wrong order, it, it's I did it wrong, and now I've worked it out. And it's the same on the watercolor. There are steps. There there is a sequence, and if you get the sequence right, it's lovely. And if you don't. It's not so lovely, all right? <laughs> In fact, it's the opposite of lovely. Right, come on. <laughs> okay, so shaky, shaky. There we go. And then we'll come in here and we'll just fill our leaves. So you've probably done this already. You've probably posted your beautiful wreath. You've probably done your writing. Well, do you know, you can hang out with the bus driver if you choose to. You can have another go, you know. So you've done this already. All you need is a little bit of, all you need is a little bit of um, buff paper like that. <clears throat> Make a couple of lines with a pencil. Look. Make a line and line and line and line, make a straight, make some leaves, colour them in, and you can do exactly the same techniques now on a long bookmark. <laughs> See, don't have to sit there all smug thinking, well, I've done mine, bored now. <laughs> there we go. For my, for me, right, and I, can, I, I speak from the heart today, it's all about staying with your hands. You, whatever is going on in your head, you know, and take comfort in the fact that it's going on in lots of different millions and millions of heads. Millions and millions of homes at the moment are having a bit of a dilemma, okay? Some a lot worse than others, believe you me. Let's do that one there, whatever that is. Okay. You're not alone. 
It's going on everywhere. Right, there you go. So, we've done all the white. We could always add more, but that'll do for now. Right? And then what we're going to do, so the Posca, the fat Posca pen, that's how we did the dots, the berries, the snow berries. And then I used the, the thinner nib to get into the detail so you can really get the shape. It's really nice, isn't it? What we haven't done though is the, the twigs. That's the very, very, very last thing we're going to do. So now let's pick a colour. If you've got the Perga liners, go for a yellow or a light green, yeah? And, and the Perga liners are going to be bang on when we come on Wednesday because we're going to use all the aqua colour, all the water ones, right? So, but go for a light green, like, um, yeah, that one there's nice. What have we got there? B7's good? B7. Go for a light green. I'm going to go for a bit of a zesty. I'm going for the polychromos because I feel, I just feel like it. Cadmium yellow, le lemon, right? And what we're going to do now, and it won't take long, let's get a little bit of a sweep going. Come on, Barbara. Okay. Right, so make sure they're dry. Can't see, I can't remember which ones I did. I can't remember which ones I just did. Oh, I'll soon find out. Right, so what we're going to do, right, cadmium yellow or a yellow, just at the top, just go around and you're going, you're flicking in from that end and in from that end, right? So you leave it white in the middle, in from the end, in from that end and leave it white in the middle, right? So just whistle around, won't take long. Not the berries, just the leaves, just the, I don't know, call them laurel leaves, whatever you fancy, right? And the other thing I was going to say, see these ones here, they're, 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 they're like a bit extreme. It, that's where I did my experimenting. So I haven't had time this weekend to do a whole one. Normally I've got two on the go, haven't I? Do one with you, do one ahead of the game. Get on the bus, drive to the place that we're going to, get off the bus, bring the bus back, pick you up and then take you with me, right? So this week it didn't go so well. So normally I've already been where we're going had a quick look round, check that everything's okay, come back, got you, and then I'm taking you there. This week didn't go so well. So this was the sum of my R&D. My research and development was on these three leaves, okay? <laughs> and then when I did it, I overcooked it. But the happy news is, right, and again, because I thought, oh, no, 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 you ruined it and you got to go again. <sighs> But I didn't because what I did was <laughs> I was able to do a cover up job. This is like Tipex, I'm telling you. Do you remember? It was a typist. <laughs> Do you remember those good old typewriters? I remember the ones with the balls in. Excuse me. Do you remember they I can't remember what they were called, but they weren't they weren't the stick ones like that. They were balls. And uh core, I remember working for this. He was a Brazilian doctor. I was temping for him. I worked for Manpower when I got to Germany. I was temping for this Brazilian doctor at Siemens. There you go. And um, <laughs> thank God. Yeah, because I'd, I'd gone to Manpower to get a job when I got to Germany because I didn't have a job. And it was a, it's a temping agency, isn't it? So I got there and um, and I told him that I speak French and German and um, Spanish and English. And then they rang me up and they said, we've got a job for you at Siemens, temping as a secretary for a, Brazi for a Brazilian doctor. I said, well, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm not sure that um, they, sp they don't speak Spanish, they speak Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> said, they said, that's oh, all the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so not the same thing, right? So there I was in blooming Erlangen in this office with this typewriter with the ball on it, right? <laughs> Writing up Portuguese um, like transcripts and the Portuguese have got all these weird little symbols, right? Wow, do you think I could find them on this, 
on this typewriter. And so I was trying to, I had a, a black pen. It didn't look very professional, but what I was doing was going in, I was typing it all up and this ball was whizzing along. And then, and then I took my pen afterwards on the script and I was writing in all the little over the sea and all that. It looked terrible. Anyway, this poxy typewriter, right? I remember I just banged it on the side because it just was just doing my head in. And as I banged it, this little thing flipped down and there were all the little, <laughs> There were all the little Portuguese signs. It was a little additional thing. And I hadn't found it until I whacked it. And then it... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know how I'm telling you about this. But there you go. That was... Oh, yeah, I know. Come on, my mind. It is... It is it, you wouldn't want to get in here on your own, really, would you? Can you imagine being in here alone? <laughs> All that started because I decided this was Tipex. <laughs> because I was going through bottles of this stuff when I did the temping job for this Brazilian doctor. Yes, I did. That was chaos. Absolute chaos. And, uh, and he liked me. Thank God he spoke English. That was the only way we were able to co communicate with one another in English. Because he didn't speak German, which was useful. And, um, and I didn't speak Portuguese, but we both had one language in common, which was Anglais. So we spoke English to each other. And at the end of my, I was, on, I was covering for somebody who was on maternity. And, um, and at the end of my contract, so to speak, he offered me a full-time job. So, but I didn't take it. Oh, that was the last thing I wanted to do was be a secretary. But there you go. That was flattering. He was a nice fella. So, oh yeah. Ball. I can't even remember. Golf ball. It was like a golf ball, wasn't it? Do you remember? Look how nice this already looks. Hey? Top, bottom. Like that. Top, bottom. But not all the leaves. This is the one I, I tipexed over, look. <laughs> you can tell. Because <laughs> you can see a little bit of the black line around the outside. And that's when I realised the sequence. Right, it's going to look good though, guys. Hey, you are, look. It looks nice already, really, doesn't it? All the leaves. I'm going to have to oil this chair. All the leaves. Got them all? Listen to that chair. Right. There you go. Doesn't that look good? See? Now, you can make that a little bit brighter. Go around another generation. But remember, you know, with the B pencils on top of the white, you definitely want to be working in layers. You don't want to be going too heavy. When it starts to get shiny, you know you've overcooked it. Now, let's have a look. So we've gone in at top and tail with a light colour. Let's call it a light colour, even if it's a light green or a yellow. Yeah? Now, let's have a look up close, shall we? See if this camera's working. So, let's get up close. I wonder where those shadows are coming from now. I'm going to have to investigate that because that is new you know yeah I don't know where those light lines are coming from is it that cable there no where are they coming from then isn't that weird no I'm gonna have to figure it out I'll figure it out when we've finished today because I keep saying that. See the shadow running through? Look, not there. There. Where's that line coming from? I'll figure it out. It will not be there Wednesday. Okay, so now, what we want to do now is take another colour. Let's Instead of going with a darker green, let's go with a, a, a darker blue. But not too dark. So you've got choices here. You can either use this sort of dark blue and then go lightly. 
So what's that going to look like? If you go over the top of the that limey green, the cadmium green or yellow, you are going to get definitely it's going to end up being that's way too dark grey. Let's go a bit lighter. So you've got to check. Let's get a bit of a chisel going as well. It's a bit too sharp, isn't it? See, so the, the, when you go up that end, you get a nice green anyway. Yeah, you do. Gently does it though. Look, you could really wreck it, couldn't you? So you could go with a lighter. What happens if you go with a lighter blue, like a skyy blue? Let's have a look. What I'm trying to avoid here is a, um, a green, really, because I don't think it... So you could go with that as well. That might look good. A lighter blue. That's a pergoliner. What one's that? B16. That's quite nice, you know. Okay, let's give it a go. So, I'll try it with the dark one, see what happens. Lightly does it. Just a little fleck at the tip. There you go. That's it. And a little bit down the bottom. Tiny. Not much. Right. Well, I've got a better idea. Let me try it on the lighter one. Before you do it, don't do it, because I've already tip pegs this one. See, actually, do you know what? Right, I'm going with a lighter colour. I'm going with a lighter colour. When in doubt, <coughs> hang about. Can always add it, can't we? But we can't keep taking it away, because in a minute, uh, let's get rid of that layer of darkness again. This poor little leaf is being worked. In a minute, I'm going to come straight through the paper. Do you remember when we first started out, before we introduced the... Um, the tr That's much better. Okay, light blue, people. Definitely light blue, my friends. Let's do, the, let's do the long leaves. Do you remember when we started? And um, I can remember laughing like a drain when I, I would read on, on Facebook and... And some of you would say, oh, I've gone through my paper rubbing out. <laughs> and then um, the double sided, the double, the end, the double ended erasers, they were selling. We couldn't get them in fast enough. <laughs> See, it's not like that now. It's not like that now. We've obviously all got one. <laughs> there. This is much better. Light blue. OK, which one? B16, I heard you, I heard you, B16, doesn't that look good? Right, round we go. I think the trick is as well with this, is not to, um, don't get caught up in one leaf, because it's going to be the, it's the overall impact, it's not one leaf, it's the, it's the whole lot. So you flick in from the top. Not too far, and you flick in from the bottom. There you go. Just a little bit. Looking good. I'm just doing it on the on the larger leaves actually. I think it I can always go back in a minute. See what's cool is as well, when you do this, what you'll find is the white, the tip X, it um It lets the pencil shade in more in places. It acts almost like a like a resist, but partial. It's really cool. Yeah, nice, eh? So around we go. So just a little bit of depth in there. So the so the first thing we're going to do is add the colour to the whiteness. So you could leave some white if you want, but I'm gonna. We got the berries going on as well, haven't we? Got a little bit of blue. There you go. Some more, some less, eh? You happy with that? Are we all right? What's the time? You okay? All right, come on, let's have a sip of tea. Let's have a sip of tea and a smile. Okay, there you go. And if it suddenly got too dark, out comes the tippet, not the fat one, the thin one, right? 
It's not Tipex, it's a Posca pen. Okay, everybody all right? Yeah, cool, I've had some jobs. <laughs> that one. I couldn't let the postman in for three days because I was on my own. Your man had gone off to Brazil for a meeting and I was on my own in the office, right? Very isolated. And you'd think in Siemens it'd be packed, right? No, I was in a little, it, it, it was all over Erlangen and it, the town. And it was um, like all offices all over the place. I cycled there. I actually cycled. This is like me. Yeah. I cycled from Nuremberg to, to the job. I know. I wouldn't do that now. I don't know, I don't get there once. Um, and um, yeah, and so he'd gone off on his jolly to, to some conference in, in, um, in Brazil and I was on my own. And, um, and, I di and I didn't know, so when I started the job, I hadn't actually met him, he wasn't even there. So I was on my own and I just started, to, there was a pile of stuff that I needed to do. And, um, and I didn't know how to open the door downstairs. I didn't know where the bell, you know. So the postman, he, he, I couldn't let him in. <laughs> I didn't know how to release the door. And, um, and I was crawling around on the floor at one point. I remember looking, I dropped something. So I was on my hands and knees under the desk looking for whatever it was it had, I'd dropped. <laughs> it was probably the Tipex, right? <laughs> <laughs> and as I came out, I hit my head on the on the desk. I'm not kidding. This is what happened. And as I hit my head, I found the little button. So under the desk here, where I whacked my head, there was the door release. I mean, who's to know these things, eh? <laughs> so then I was able to let the postman in. Yeah, it's a learning curve, you know. Life is a learning curve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then I let the postman in. Hmm. Right, this is really nice, you know. So we've got a little flash of blue going on, got a little flash of green going on, a little flash of yellow going on. Right, cool. So now we've done that. Now let's get, before we do, you've got to put all your colour down now. So if we're happy with that, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. We might be able to go in later, but we might smear the black. So that's my learning curve. I've already had that experience. I've already had the, the Tipex, the golf ball, the works, and I've always had I've also had the experience of putting this down and then and then smearing it with more colour. Right, so now we're going to add the line art. I'm going to use an, an O1, right? So let's have a look what this looks like. So what we're going to do now, that one looks a bit cheesy, but it's okay. Right, round we go. And then in comes the, right, so now what we're doing is we're adding the, the outline. You watch it start popping now. I mean, if you wanted to, to get your eye in, you might enjoy doing it this way round. But just go, forget the leaves for a minute. Do all the berries. Or do you, let's mix it up. Come on. Makes it more interesting. So you go round the outside and then you bring it down. And then you, look, we're gonna bring the berries in. So now what we're doing is, we're just working our way around the wreath. Here we go. And you just outline the whole thing. Watch it start to take shape. So we've done all our color. Don't want it to be too dark. This is cool. So we've got a snowberry. Add it. Take your time doing this. Look, it's so pretty, isn't it? When it starts to come together. Nice, eh? So when I was at mum and dad's yesterday, I went over there for the day, you know, just to make sure that they're okay and get them shopping. And we did our Christmas shopping online and we sorted out Christmas cards and, 
yeah, it was a good day. It was a nice day. But we also made a big decision yesterday. Um, and it wasn't my, it wasn't my decision to make, but I have to respect it. You know, my dad, he's all about, he's a real, very intelligent fella. And, you know, he's all about, and he's in his 80s, there are no flies on him. And he's been watching the news now and he's been, he's hunkered down and he's, he's respected the guidelines. He, he's, he's definitely, you know, he does what he's told and what's recommended. And, and they, you know, they, they, they isolated at the beginning, like so many of you or so many of us actually, do you remember? And they did all that. And, um, and then we got mum out, didn't we, just quickly to get the hip replacement and then back indoors again. And um, anyway, yesterday he said, you know, because I said that, you know, it, I, they knew that I'd already told them that, that Grace and Mark, that kids weren't coming home, that I'd already, I'd already grasped the nettle on that one, that it just didn't make any sense to me to get Grace and Mark and, and you know, and their respective home to England for, for Christmas in in these times it just didn't stack up to me to be coming into tier three from new york and so you know come on it just didn't make sense to me and so i'd already grasped the nettle on that one and i spoke to dad and and he said well to be honest he said i think the kids aren't coming home and um we ought to really be keeping into our in our households and not and not mingling at Christmas. And he said I'd 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 feel a lot more comfortable if um if we just gave it a miss this year, Bob. So so we were gonna get together with, with Steve and Sheila and, you know, the six of us in our three household bubble. And Dad said, to be honest, we're so close now to a vaccine and and getting through this in one piece he said i don't i don't think it would be prudent to risk it right now um so you know um mum and i were very accepting of it really you know he is the head of the household he 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 always he always was and he always will be and you know when my dad says in his own gentle way I think it would be best if we, you know, we stay here and we do our bit and you stay there with Dave and you do your bit and Steve and Sheila, you know, he said, um, it, it does make sense, you know, because there is no, there is no guarantee we could, you know, there's no guarantee, is there? That, that even if yeah no there's not the only guarantee <clears throat> to, is to, is to um is to stay indoors and not let anybody in really let's face it i mean i know that sounds a bit extreme doesn't that look lovely God, it looks so, so sharp. See this bit, look here, where it's got no, no outline, and then compare it, let's compare it. Doesn't that look pretty? Look, looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, so that was the decision that was made yesterday. And uh, it's fine. It's cool. It's only end another day, you know. And I guess, you know, I mean, I was gutted last week having to suggest to the children that they don't come home this, this Christmas. And I guess my dad now, he's sort of taking the ache out of it for me because it's like Christmas is pretty much cancelled now. As a, as a family, we're, we're just going to but it was okay. We turned it round, and we had a little lesson. We 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 FaceTimed with Grace, and I sh I was showing Dad how to use his i iPad, and how to FaceTime, and it was all right, you know. It is what it is. 
and 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 I'll do anything, anything, to keep my mum and dad safe. You know. So, and if it means not getting together for a turkey dinner, well, you know what? That's not the end of the world, is it? Crikey, we can have a turkey in April. So, so yeah, I just, I guess it's all about acceptance, isn't it? For, for me, I mean, we can only speak for ourselves. And y if you know Barbara and her family, you'll know that we are tight, like really tight. And um, so that's a big, a big cheese. That's a big decision, really. I don't remember ever not spending Christmas with my mum and dad, you know? Never. We've all, it's just been, that's the way it is. But, you know what? This year, it makes complete sense. Because Sheila was going to cook the, Sheila was going to cook the turkey. And we were going to go Christmas Eve at my, at our house here. And then, and then Sheila was going to have us to hers. And then we were going to go there. And, um, so I rang my brother at six this morning, put him in the picture, and uh, he was absolutely in agreement, 100%, you know. <clears throat> and um, so I said, you know, about Christmas Day dinner, I said, you're going to tell Sheila? He said, no. <laughs> I said, what do you mean, no? He went, no, I'm going to have five turkey dinners. <laughs> Dick. He said, I'm going to have turkey Monday, turkey Tuesday, turkey Wednesday. I said, you know, he's a dog. So he said, no, I'll tell her. And um, it's fine. You know, it's just another day. Listen, we had duck yesterday. I said, Dad, get your crackers out. We could pretend it's a turkey. <laughs> Can I have Christmas lunch now? So yeah, if you if you are in that kind of place right now where you're you're battling, thinking, you know, what are we gonna do? How many households? How many how many of the family? How you know with the grandchildren and this and that and who's coming in and where have they been and oh my god and la la la. If it's getting like that, then just stop for a minute. Just stop and say. And I can only speak for myself, but if it's making you anxious, you know this this whole Christmas thing. Just stop it for a minute. We did. We just said, right, hang on a minute. And I feel so much better. I can't tell you. It, you know, in a way you think, well, it's because it's, it's what we always do, isn't it? So we're used to it. And it's like, we think that we have to, it's a tradition. Well, do you know what? This year, extenuating circumstances prevailed. And we we just said, look, look what look what happened in America with Thanksgiving. They kept saying, don't don't go out, don't mix, don't fly, don't go to family. And they went in their millions. And, you know, in, in 10 days time. Well, let me think. Oh, that's right. It went mad. And there was a massive spike, you know. So. So by not having Grace and Mark come over from America, that's progress. Uh, I think that's a good thing. And then I think with mum and dad and Stephen, just by just keeping in our own bubbles, that keeps mum and dad safe, you know. There's no guarantee of any of it, but it's all about damage limitation. Damage limitation. Keeping it to the absolute bare minimum, you know. That's how we feel about it at the Grey household. And um, yeah, so there we are. <clears throat> that's the way it is. And acceptance is the key to all my problems today. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, you know, every, each to his own, each to his own. But that's the way we're dealing with it. Doesn't that look pretty? Doesn't that look pretty? Now, where's that happy Christmas? I wonder what that would look like in there. Cool, it would look nice. A little bit smaller though it needs to be, doesn't it? It needs to be a little bit tighter. Well, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Do you like that? So the next thing we've got to do, while we're on it, see the little berries? Right, we're going to make, there's a couple of little changes we're going to make now. 
Right, take your pen again. Again, because this is all dry, the white, we can do this. And you're going to make a dot. Make a dot where you think the, the, the berry, you know, the, the, core, the core bit. Right, make a little dot and then make a little star coming out of it. So it could be there, it could be anywhere. It doesn't always have to be in the same place. Put it there and then, and then make little legs coming out of it. There, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. So my point is, and I hope I don't annoy you by saying this, because it's entirely up to you. Your ride, your rules. My ride, my rules, right? Dad's ride, dad's rules. But we've just got to get through it, my friends, you know? And I think, yeah, I've got to turn it round. I haven't got to stand in the kitchen for two days. That's, a, that's all right. <laughs> I could think of worse things to do. So I haven't got to stand in the kitchen for two days. I haven't got to spend a fortune. Uh, what else haven't I got to do? Um, I haven't got to... I can, oh, what can I do? I can do some pottery. I can go for a lovely walk with my husband. I can have a lie-in. I can read a book. I FaceTime the kids when they wake up. I FaceTime mum and dad. You know? It's only... It's just another day. And... It's... Look, doesn't that look pretty with the little dots? Oh, I love this. I love this. It looks so nice. So I got a little bit sad about it and then I got over it. <laughs> it took about 10 minutes because I tell you what, the relief in my dad's face was visible. He, he was obviously trying to placate the family and keep everything going. But by the same token, you know, he's not daft. He knows the risk and is it worth it? And that's what, that's the point. If you take your pros and your cons and you get a set of scales, this is what I do. And, you know, with everything, be it a marriage, be it a job, be it whatever it is, you've got your pros and cons. What's the advantage of getting together? What's the disadvantage of getting together? And when you start listing the pros and cons, I think it's self-explanatory. It's like, yeah, OK. Point taken. What's on the telly at Christmas? <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And we've come in now we've we've put in all our our branches as well so it's quite thin isn't it the branch but i like it now what we could do is put a couple of double lines in should we try it with a pencil first before we wreck it i want to go through this with a wrecking ball now but let's say for example here if you wanted to let's try it just with a pencil now watch as you come round you see how you can you can weave it, can't you? And it just, there's already a little bit of it there. Just a little bit of double, a double wreath, if you see what I mean. So it's not quite so thin, because it wouldn't be this thin, would it? See? So you could add a few little twists, like that. You know, we do we do this anyway all the time, don't we? Add a, add a few twists. This is quite nice, actually. See, and if we do it with a pencil, if we don't like it, we can always rub it out. When in doubt, right, there you go. That looks quite good too. Yeah, I like it. Do a few more. Go over the top, let's have a look. Add a few more little twists where you feel they would look good. Pretty, hmm? Right, now take the pen again, and this time sweep through. So for example, this is gonna go like that, like that. Like that. See, we don't even have to rub it out. If there's a little bit of pencil work, uh, like a little echo, who cares? There you go. Yeah, so we're adding a few twigs now. This looks really nice. Hey. Yeah. One day at a time. That's all we've got to do. Do you remember we spoke about it on Friday, didn't we? 
All we've got to do today is get through today, okay? Have the best day you can. Do you know that it's the 1st of December tomorrow? Oh boy, that doesn't seem possible, does it? So it's the 1st of December. There you go, 1st of December. And, um, and there you go. You've been getting good practice in with the sale for looking on the website and getting familiar with all the products, I bet. Because tomorrow, the elf hunt starts. I know that you, many of you really enjoy it. It's just something to keep you occupied, really. Gives a bit of fun, you know. So what we do is, we this is be the third year. Last year it was Mrs. Elf. The year before it was Elfie. And this year we've got... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got um, the children, yeah, and they're called, what have we called them? Evie, <laughs> Lucy drew them on Friday because I didn't have time, she did them, and she said, what do you want to call them? We called them, um, I said, what about Effie and Offie? She said, I don't think that'll go down, my so okay, we won't call them that. What about Offie and Effie? No, so I said, <laughs> so she's called them. Evie is the little girl. And um, is it Elfie? Elfie and Evie, the two little children elves. And what we do is we hide them. I've got a right, I've got, I haven't finished the little poems yet. I'm nearly there. And then there are little riddles, like little clues. And you have to go on the website and you have to go and look for Evie and Elfie. I knew he said it again. Evie and Elfie. And then you gather the, the clues. Don't tell anyone, though, right? You gather the clues. And then um, everybody on, on, on Facebook, on Clarity Worldwide, they go, oh, piece of cake, easy. And then sometimes it's not so easy and they get really frustrated. Oh, I've been searching for hours and I can't find clue number eight. And nobody will help them because, <laughs> sometimes they do, but because... At the end of the 24 days on the 25th, what you do is you you send us your answers right in an email, and then when they're all when they're all correct, then you get put in a draw for a 200 pound gift hamper. There you go, and um, it's just a bit of fun, really. It's fun, and and some of the I was having a right chuckle, going over to mum and dad's yesterday. <laughs> I was driving over to mum and dad's. And um, and I was I was making up rhymes in my head, you know, to um, for the riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that look so cool? What do you think? See, and then so now finishing touches, finishing touches. We've got our black pen. This is my my opinion. You might want to leave it just as it is. I want to put the lines right here we go. And that's when it starts to come straight through. And you go straight through all the color and it looks so nice. Right, so this is where we add the veins. And you can get some really good, see? Just look at it before you put it in and decide where where's the vein going to be. Is it going to be at the top like that? Yep. See what I mean? Looks really, kind of brings it together to be honest. So we're very, very busy at Clarity now because we're going to be picking and the packing. Thursday, we've got a Pergamano show. That'll be lovely. Paul's doing that one. I'm off the hook on that one. And it's, but, but Linda and Lynn Jackson, Linda Williams, they've done all the prep for that, which is lovely. It's a new stocking kit. So that'd be nice. What else are we doing? Uh, and then on Sunday, I'm on telly. Doing, doing the shack shack things which I always, is always dear to my heart, that is. See, that one I might just leave it as it is. Doesn't they look nice when you put the vein, the, the vein down the middle? It really ties it up. 
there you go the last treat yeah and then I don't want to rush it how we do have time oh we've got plenty of time has my clock stopped no we're good we're golden yeah and for me as far as Christmas and my mum and dad and what we just talked about goes I just don't think about it too much if I dwell on it I get despondent so there's the answer <sighs> don't dwell on it all the time I've got to concentrate on this I can't anyway you see yeah nice Missed a couple, big ones. They look good. Nice ones. I'll leave that one. Don't they look lovely? Well, it's my opinion anyway. Have a look, see what you feel. Looks so cool. Have a look. See? Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Right, last trick. Last trick. Ready? Shadows. Let's take a light grey and a dark grey. What we'll do is start, play it safe. You know me. Play it safe. Get a bit of a chisel going. And let's put, let's decide what's the top and what's the bottom. This is the bottom, that's the top. That's my decision. Right, I'm sticking with it. So what we'll do now, we'll just go along here. I may have to go back in and reintroduce my my black line a little bit but let's just go around the bottom of the each berry just with the light grey there you go lights hitting this side so all the shadows gonna be on this side there you go so we just add a little bit of shadow there there do you remember when we did the it's gonna look lovely and you can always go back in and add your black line art if you've smudged it or you've gone out but you definitely put this in after there you go definitely put this in after otherwise you don't know where to put the shadow right there you go that's lovely shadows 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 it's gonna look good right so you do a light one let's just do this area here just to show you because at the moment it's very stylized isn't it when you do a little bit of shadow around here so you get quite tight and then you you move away don't you you sort of go like that and then tight round the line art and then as you come away get a bit tighter and in a minute as soon as I switch off here I'm going to figure out what's happened to the lighting because something's not right and I can't work it out but I will. I will. There, see, so then you do that, and this is going to make it really pop. pop. And then I take my dark grey. This is the Payne's grey. Payne's grey is one of the ones that's in that. I mean, any dark grey will do. A lead pencil will do the job. But the Payne's grey is in, one of, in that set of 12 that we. Do you remember? Right, and then this one, I'm going to come take time, grey, right in on the line. And that's when it pops. Come right in, and you just sweep it through there. That's it. And that is what makes it look three-dimensional. When you come in on the bottom, bottom, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what makes it jump. Now suddenly, those berries look like you could pick them. Isn't that nice? See, you'll see when you, see if I show you here, when you start to bring these in on the base and you just make a little, this is what makes it start to look three dimensional. Just along that bottom edge there. There you go. A pleasure to do this is. A real pleasure to do. And when you... Let's have a look. 
Let's get it up close on the overhead. I'll just hold it like that. Hey, Bernie the Bolt. Hey. <laughs> there. See, just do a little bit of detail along the bottom there. And what that will do is it will just make it look really dimensional. Just got to do a little bit more. I've got about another, I'd say I've got about another hour on this. Just adding in the shadow underneath here. And the more you do this, the more it'll pop. But you want to keep it light. You don't want to make it too dark. But it's very pretty, isn't it? It's very pretty. And so, my friends, that brings us to the end of that lovely snowberry laurel wreath on, um, on Buff. I think I really like that one. And, um, and on Wednesday, what we're going to do on Wednesday is the watercolour. And I was practising this morning, you're going to love this. So, so what we want to do on, if you fancy it, on, on Wednesday, let me just give you a little idea. I did mention it before to you. The idea is that we, let me show you so you get an idea of what we're doing. Because you'll know then. We'll, we'll do a transfer. Not this one. I want it to, I'm not going to do that one. It's too busy. That was the one that I was just trying to make a point. How you can change the size of the hollies. Because remember, we, 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 we drew it really small holly leaves. And then when we, try, when we put the twig in, we were able to make the holly leaves as big as you like. Right? This one even bigger. Look. Brilliant. But what it did was, and this is where I want to go with you on Wednesday. So what we're going to do there is we're going to transfer this really lightly though. So for the first, it's almost like you can't see it. We're going to need a bit of watercolour paper if you've got some, right? I'll grab this, we'll get it out to you. Well, we will, we will move it through, I promise, right? Um, we need the original drawing we're going to transfer it so it's not we don't want it to be too dark because we're and then we're going to use I think it's a good thing I do you know what it is I think we need to have more there's I don't want all the surprises and I feel if I don't want surprises you don't want surprises and so you know normally it's like oh and then I just throw that in but now I feel I'd like I don't want you to be anxious in the in the least Right. So on Wednesday, we're going to use watercolour pencils. I'm going to use watercolour brushes, but if you haven't got them, then just a paintbrush, any paintbrush with a bit of water. I'm going to use my mix mat. But again, if you haven't got it, just a bit of plastic, anything will do. Right. And then what we'll do is we'll 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 build up our wreath on watercolour paper right layer on layer and color on color i've got an eye you know and that's what we'll do on wednesday and then on friday and again i haven't had this is as far as i got on the bus come back to get you on wednesday okay so don't worry about going ahead just have a think about what you need if you're going to try and join in if not it doesn't matter bring a cup of tea we're just here to keep you company all right so thank you very, very much for, um, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that buff wreath. I love that one. And, uh, and, I, and I'm going to put my, my happy Christmas in there. Maybe on Wednesday or Friday, we could have a little go at drawing, a, you know, writing out a nice message. Peace, joy, love to you, from us to you, whatever you fancy. OK, have a think about what you'd like to write in your wreath and then we can see how we go. We've done some writing before. We're good at this. So lots of love to you. Take it easy, Stuart. Thanks for all your help. And I shall see you Wednesday. Same time, same place. Ten o'clock. Be safe. Bye bye now.